Just looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AOEAH.com. They have super cheap coins. You can get a million for such a steal. Head on over, and of course, if you use code Poodle, you can get a discount off your order at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over what you guys should be doing with your coins before and during the Zero Chill promo. This is going to be an important video for a few reasons, because Zero Chill is arguably the turning point of the Madden year, because that's what we're going to the new year. That's when we're going to really start hitting towards those 99 over all cards like those top tier like powered up cards like that's what we're really getting there in terms of, and how many cards they drop during zero chill really just kills everything before it like forget everything you knew about the past promos zero chill kills almost everything from before it right so just keep that in mind now before we get into the video guys if you're into the channel that subscribe button turn that notification bell give this video a big thumbs up guys and of course if you do want to check out underdog fantasy which is a daily fantasy app that i am partnered with down below i will have a code for you guys to get up to a free 100 bucks in your first deposit which like i've been saying guys if you do one dollar games you can pretty much play up to 100 free games and have a chance of winning some money you can you know turn a dollar into 20 really easily i've seen people multiple times you get the five the 20 times multiplier very simple but anyways code down below link as well check it out but yeah here's the thing Zero chill is the turning point of mud, in my opinion. Because, you know, we have Thanksgiving, we have Halloween, we have all this stuff. They drop a good amount of cards, but zero chill has zero chill, snow beast, out of positions, and we have ghost of Madden. That's arguably like four, four promos worth of players, right? Because the whole uh, uh, harvest promo has four pages of players, probably, right? This has four pages of players for zero chill. It has two pages of players for out of position. It has a four players of snow beast, which are actually pretty good players to get up to like 93s. And then we have another three players with the Ghost of Madden. And the Ghost of Madden are even better than the other ones, right? This should break some overall um, barriers. This should do a lot of damage in terms of the market. So make sure you guys accurately and properly distribute your coins before this promo. Because if you don't, you could get stuck. So I know a lot of people who have all the Harvest Masters, all the Halloween Masters on their team. And they're rocking with them. And they're going to go into the Christmas promo thinking they'll be fine. You won't be fine. If you keep all these players, you're going to lose a lot of coins. Now, if you're a guy that likes to maximize your coins, it's time to start team skimming. What do I mean by team skimming, right? So let's take this back. Let's take this uh, this page right here back to the home page, right? Of Madden 22 players. And let's just take a look. Let's just say you currently have, like, what's a guy up here that you could say, like, Jamal Adams, right? Safety. He goes for 1.6 million coins. He's a good card. He is a good card. 1.6 million coins is absurd. He's the kind of guy that 1.6 million coins for 95 overall safety. We end up getting some crazy Ed Reed that gets above 90 hit power, that gets like 95 speed, and suddenly you don't want him anymore. You get a crazy Ronnie Lott, who essentially is like Jamal Adams in terms of coverage with, with hit power and speed and height. There's just a chance that we get someone that kills this card, and he goes down to like 800k, 500k real fast. That's a million coins lost. What I mean by team skimming, guys, team skimming is going through your team and realizing what cards are borderline phased out, or even better, being ahead of the curve. Guys like Jamal, who are top tier and now like here's the other thing a lot of people don't play outside of promos so this next week and a half of madden where it's like that dead limbo where it's kind of like okay we wait for zero chill people hold on to players and their team just slowly depreciates and then once something drops they come back and sell everything at a low point if you know you're not going to play the next week and a half because a lot of people do that they don't play in between promos like if you know you're not going to really be playing the next week and a half or you're taking a vacation like i am it's like just get rid of some players now like evan ingram 92 speed tight end 240 pounds six foot three 722k he's good but you know we might get a 92 speed jeremy shockey pretty soon we might we might like it we're gonna get some crazy tight ends we already have pits i mean he's already probably not the best head end in this category and he's, he's a lot of money like these are some lt like lts are always the best to sell because ltds actually do drop nowadays they don't just hold value like garen blunt 430k he's still really good but bo jacks kind of overtook him so the fact he's still going 430k you can sell his ltd and know that we're gonna get some crazy crazy running back during christmas there's just a lot of guys you could really just sell um Patrick Sertain, he's actually good, but we know we're gonna get we know we're gonna get some like Charles Woodson or some crazy 95 speed corner this promo. This promo is gonna bring us some crazy ghost mad players, right? We're gonna get some like last year, right? This is last year where players were way far back. Like players this year should be better than these cards. Uh Rob Woodson, right? We got a 94 speed corner with 76 blocks, 87 hit power, Mac like 95 man, 94 zone. These are cards that would this would be the best cornerback probably in Madden today. And this was dropped last year at a time when cards were actually a little bit further back than they are now in terms of overall and stats, right? So just keep that in mind um we're gonna get some crazy stuff so make sure you guys are team skimming i know like i said i know a lot of people do this myself included i'm guilty of this like i know thanksgiving blitz i'm playing i'm playing i'm playing the week and a half after thanksgiving blitz you take a small break you were on it every day for blitz take a bit of a break maybe hop on 2k maybe take a vacation maybe spend some time with family maybe you just you work a little bit harder the first two weeks for some christmas money and then you come back oh the zero chill promo you hop back on 
and your, you know, your Thanksgiving Dion and your Thanksgiving Peppers and your LTD Engram, they're all down like 50 to 100k each, which doesn't sound like a lot. But if you have 10 to 15 players who dropped about 100k each, you're looking at 1.5 to 1 million coins lost in value. So make sure you guys are team skimming. That's super important. Also, it's important to have a coin stack, right? Because this is the other problem. People don't have a coin stack going to these promos. And this is what hurts them the most is because then they start to panic sell. I had a friend who used to do this all the time. We have this 5 million coin team and he and he just spends it all at once like he needs he always he can never just hold on to 2 million he needs to spend all 5 million on their team at the best card at that point so he'll have 5 million coins and ltds all this stuff as soon as zero he wouldn't sell before zero chill he would wait zero chill drops oh my god there's all these presents there's this new currency there's this new this and then you come in all nervous and hectic you rush home from work you stop in you start selling all your cards for like 20 percent less value so now your, your team's only you're out of five million your team's only worth three million even worse you're buying on hype so now you're getting these these players for currency at like 100k over over the price because now you want to get the snowflake currency to go ahead and use for presents or you're going ahead and use for rerolls and then you end up you're at the end of the whole promo your team ends up being only worth a mil from five mil madden's great at this i think madden does this intentionally sets things up so that you guys can go ahead uh hold on to a lot of good players and then sell them for a much lower profit it's a way of keeping the coin total low so you have to keep buying packs and keeping up right keeping up with the jones kind of a saying so just point is here guys sell before and be ready have a coin stack because then when they when they drop that ltd you know ltd michael vick chris whatever whatever they end up dropping they drop that crazy ltd card that you must have you have two million coins sitting there you can sit there patiently wait for it to drop in price and buy it versus you see this crazy ltd card drop that you must have for 800k and you see him going on the market and you must have him so then you go ahead and you're like i'll just list my evan ingram i set it for 700k i'll listen for 550 i'll just want to sell him real quick right he's dropping in price you're like I'll, I'll just sell him for 100k under get my coins real quick and get him out and you just make this mistake then you have the card like, oh this was fun oh wait i have no more coins right just be very careful with your coins. It's just it's just so easy to fall into that trap, guys. That pretty much wraps up my video, my coin advice. If you guys take all that advice, you should have a pretty good job. Again, don't sell your... Like, if you have Deion Sanders and he's powered up and you know he's going to be on your team the whole year, don't sell him. That's fine. If, if they're powered up and you have abilities and stuff in them and you know you want to keep them all year, hold on to them. But if you have just like a you know ltd evan ingram just sitting there or like ltd jabril peppers just sitting on your team and he's holding that at ltd price still sell him because ltd pricing it's not like the old days back in the old man guys ltds would like 700k today 700k tomorrow 700k next week ltds were so rare like they did not drop the price this year ltds sometimes like jonathan vilma was 300k in the first hour of being an ltd like ltds just don't hold that value like they used to so the problem is they don't hold they don't have a floor like they they, they give a i mean sorry they have a really low floor and a super high ceiling that's it's scary so you could you could have an evan ingram at eight let's just say I keep using him because he just looks like that kind of guy you can get evan ingram at 800k or jamal adams right 1.6 million coins 1.6 million coins at his ceiling they drop an ed reed or an Ronnie lot and zero chill that go, that's cheaper than him like their masters for 300k jamal adams 800k still a lot of money but you just lost almost a million coins scary stuff guys so make sure you guys are checking that out if you guys have any questions comment down below i'll try my best to get you guys on those you guys uh want to like the video that'll be greatly appreciated subscribe turn that notification bell give us a big thumbs up thank you guys for watching i'm out enjoy the rest of your day peace